morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today is another edition of Forage Friday. Today we spotlight kudzu. Kudzu is the vine that took over the south. It is an incredibly fast growing invasive vine. It was introduced to the United States by the government as an erosion control and livestock feed. Since then, it has become quite invasive and taken over much of the south. One of the good things about kudzu is that it is an edible. The leaves are edible. The tender new growth on the vines are edible. The flowers even are edible too. People will use these flowers in salads or in jellies or candy or even in just a nice beverage that they make with the blooms. Mm -hmm. mm, they can be in raw or steeped in water for a nice cool beverage in the summer. Mmm, they smell like grape jelly and you cannot mistake them when you're walking through the woods and you smell that grape jelly smell. And it is almost always just worth looking up and seeing the kudzu blooms. The leaves are used in recipes that call for grape leaf if you want to wrap and stuff them with a filling like rice and beef or just rice with seasoning and stuff if you're a vegetarian they work great for that you can also chop them up and cook them like collard greens the roots are even considered edible because they contain a high well a 10 percent starch and you can boil them down and make substances from the roots that you can use to add a starch to other ingredients there's even been some claims that kudzu is beneficial to helping alcoholics fight their addiction kudzu is easily identified because it is so obvious it is alternate leaves it is a three-part leaf not to be confused with poison ivy of course the vines are somewhat hairy in texture especially on the older ones they'll have reddish um, coloration to them there we go there you are the reddish hairy vines these plants are pretty easily recognizable from the roadside because they will cover old homesteads, dead trees, anything that they can climb up. They'll even climb up live trees, which they have done so over down on the lower property side of our property. They are a great protein source for livestock, so they can be fed to sheep and goats very easily. Even cattle will eat them. So all in all, kudzu is a really good, really bad weed. <laughs> it's really good because it's very edible for us and the livestock. And it's very bad because of its invasive nature. It actually grows a foot a day. The vines can also be used as basket material. If you use them to weave a basket, that's something the boys and I have been talking about doing. So if we get a chance to do that before the winter comes and the leaves fall off, then that might be a good thing for us to try. It is deciduous and drops all of its leaves in the winter time. So if you're looking for kudzu, look for it in the summer. It blooms from midsummer all the way till the fall. And it has nice little long seed pods. I hope that I've helped you learn a little bit about kudzu today. If you're interested in learning more, research it further, find some in your area and try it out. Make sure you identify it correctly first. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you ring that bell if you want to receive future notifications for our Forage Friday videos.